the hell, darling? It's Friday. I know. I just see you typed in feminist pornographer. I know. I was thinking, is that an oxymoron? Well, some people would say so, but uh, (laughs) I don't know. Maybe it would mean woman-oriented or woman-centric or woman-supportive. Sex positive. I believe that's how I would. Pro-woman sex positive. I would read it that way. I was sitting next to the first feminist pornographer of all time, actually. <laughs> well, yes, only it was fine art, damn it. But it, I can't believe if you're an artist and you, you do all those nudes oh. having sex, you must have been crushed. Oh, crushed. Beautiful, classical drawings of men and women having absolutely simple, basic sex. None of the genitals showed. There was only one erect penis. You couldn't see anything. They were just heterosexual couples. In sex love. positions. Yeah. It was like the Kama Sutra. In position A, not as hot. They were very mm. modest, extremely modest, modest pictures. I know. Drawn drawn beautifully. I look at them now and it, they're they're actually boring. You know what I mean? It, yeah, it's like, what? Are you kidding me? What? But anyway, it, this was in 1968 was the exhibition. And then... The Love Picture Exhibition. The Love Picture Exhibition. And then what happened is that later on, Playboy and Penthouse, other, and, you know, we had the Evergreen thing. Yeah, they used the drawings as illustrations in the magazine. So these are sex magazines. But my only way I can explain it is that people would look at a drawing, a picture of people having sex. And that was pornography. And it was pornography. That was, (laughs) oh my God. That's so bizarre. Sex pictures equal pornography. pornography. If it's sex... It's dirty. Thank <laughs> it you. must be regulated. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to America. Oh. I love, though, that Al oh. Goldstein had the feminists hijack a, a, a public... We got, we got a whole issue. We got a whole issue. So the feminists hijacked Screw Magazine and Betty was in the issue. Yeah, we took it over. And we, we did all the articles. We did everything. And my article was the masculine mystique. <laughs> she wanted to see dick and porn. Well, I'm saying, you know, look, all the women, we, you know, we've got our beavers split forever, and they're staring and at us. And you don't even see them. Uh, at that, in in those in the 60s, back at the end of the 60s, you didn't see erections. Could it be even and straight, no, like no, just direct? No, no, it had no, to be a little no. down. Yes, yes. It, in other words, I think it could be turgid, but not, <laughs> not erect, not erect. And I'm thinking, that's so unfair. <laughs> but Gore Vidal told Goldstein, that he thought I was right. Men are terrified of being compared. Women compete, and men support each other. That's kind of a big difference. Well, we support each other, though. Well, yes, yes, that was actually what the women's movement was about, was mm-hmm. women's creating an old girls' network, where we could come in and, and let the sisters Just be us. And move ahead, move ahead. Yeah, network, get together. Yeah. Well, I think that's why it fell apart, because the feminists went after porn. Oh, that killed the movement. It was just like Carrie Nation yeah. going after booze. She was in there, you got to get rid of that little crash, bang. And so these women, these crazy women, you know. Touch you know, guys' porn and you're going to, it's, it's over. Okay. <laughs> I know when we went to that big um, WAA, WAP, Women Against <laughs> Pornography, where, what? Dorothy and I went and we were sitting up on the front row and that was my leather dyke period. And we had our leather jackets and we, boots and we stomped and we sat down on the front row and we're sitting there and you know we are the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> we're had, political lesbians oh, and we're not afraid of you. <laughs> oh, oh, I got I, boots on. <laughs> we had so much fun during that phase, I gotta tell you. Should we tell them about the women's sex hit squad? Oh, I've had this fantasy for so long. It's just like, yes, we get together, I don't know, a dozen, 13. That's the which sa- is coming. That's the sacred number, and the women are gorgeous, and they are so highly trained in the sexual arts. You can't believe it. I mean, we know how to do it. Mm-hmm. Everything across the board. Men cannot resist us. We are into major pussy power. <laughs> so we pick out the ones we want to knock off, like you know, definitely. Bill O'Reilly. Oh, immediately. Glenn and, Beck. Oh, nail him. You know what I mean? And then we overcome them with pleasure. Yes, yes. It's either I figure it'll kill them or cure them. And if it cured them, that would even be better. Then you can come to the party. Orgasms are marvelous things. They really are. They make they make major changes in the chemistry and in the electrical. I want one now. You want to do it now? <laughs> no, they're going to think that we're, you know. They're going to think we jerk off every time we do a taping. No, we don't, but I've been thinking that it might not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
AdamEve.com spice up your routine. Right now, you'll save 50% on one item when you enter the offer code POD10 at checkout. So go to AdamEve.com and add some spice to your life.